Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about one of the strongest builds in New World. It's the Great Sword Highest DPS in-game build. It's the Great Sword and the Great Axe. It's a combination that is going to dominate PvE for quite some time when it comes to just straight up DPS. I do expect this to be a very hard build to run in M10s for a lot of us, because you're not going to have that undying or death defying that you have with the hatchet. In Hatchet's really not too, too far behind when it comes to DPS, but if you're looking for just outrageous damage, insane damage, and you have fun using the Greatsword, this is the build for you. So to start off, I do want to say Greatsword, Great Axe. This is the Greatsword perks, or really skills, that we're going to be running as abilities here. So Crosscut, of course. We're also going to be running Skyward Slash and Relentless Rush. These are three abilities that are going to help you quite a bit in these dungeons do a ton and tons of damage. So let's take a look at some of the different weapon perks we're going to want with our greatsword. The first one's pretty obvious. It's going to be the Corrupted Bane. Depending on what Bane type you need and what dungeon you're doing, you're going to need that, need that specific Bane, basically. So let's think Angry Earth. You're going to need, obviously, Angry Earth Bane, uh, or I should say Genesis. You're going to need Angry Earth Bane. Corrupted Bane is going to be good for Tempest Heart or something like Dynasty. Uh, those dungeons that are going to be corrupted. It's pretty obvious how that works, so make sure to figure out what dungeon you're going to want this specific weapon to be for and get that Bane type for the Greatsword. So the next one's not as obvious, but a lot of people by now probably know Thwarting Strikes is very, very strong. So deal 12% additional damage while you have Active Grit. If you guys don't know, with 300 Strength, we're always going to have that Active Grit, Plus, you have the Great Sword, which, you know, is going to continue to deal tons and tons of damage with Corrupted Bane plus a Thwarting or Trenchant Strikes perk on top of it. So we actually don't really need any huge, huge third perk, and that's why we're going to stop here with Thwarting Strikes on the Great Sword. The third perk, you can go with anything you really want. Maybe you want to go with Refreshing Evasion or Refreshing or anything like that. It doesn't really matter too, too much. But I want to jump into the gems you're going to want to slot into your Great Sword. It's going to be the Cut Pristine Opal. 15% damage while your stamina is not full. And then we go to the diamond as well, the cut pristine diamond, of course. And it's going to give us that 15% damage and outgoing healing while at full health. So either one of these you can take. If you think you're going to be at full health more, take this diamond. If you think you're going to be below that 100% stamina more, take the opal. So it's pretty obvious how you want to do that right there. But we have the great X as, of course, the secondary that's going to provide the utility and some damage as well. And this is going to be the abilities we're taking, Reap and Execute, Gravity Well, and Maelstrom. So make sure to take those specific abilities. And we have Corrupted Bane yet again. It's going to be obvious you want this on every weapon ever in these expeditions, definitely when you're running M10s. Do remember, by the way, this guide is for M10 gold runs, and it actually works very, very well and easily in lower tier runs. So make sure to take advantage of that. Corrupted Bane going to be, like I said, that obvious perk. But the next one, again, is going to be kind of be another obvious perk. It's going to be the same as we had with the Greatsword. It's going to be Thwarting or Trenchant Strikes. So that's going to be kind of the obvious uh, option for us. Mostly Thwarting Strikes is going to be your option here as it's going to, like I said, deal 12% additional damage while you have that active grit. With 300 Strength, running a Great Axe, it's going to be an obvious that you're always going to have that active grit dealing that 12% additional damage so unfortunately we are going to be looking for a third perk here with the great axe so it's going to be a little bit harder to get a perfect great axe if possible you're going to want to take the enfeebling maelstrom on the great axe itself because it's going to provide you a higher percentage than it would on other gear so you can see here a 25 percent reduction to their damage for eight seconds versus the other gear being a 14 percent reduction of their damage for eight seconds so if you can get this slotted on your armor or sorry your your weapon your great axe definitely do so it's going to cost a ton if you find one like this so make sure if you don't have it on your great axe try to take advantage of it by getting it on your gear so next up we have the cut pristine opal of course yet again going to be on your great axe it's going to provide you that 15 percent damage while your stamina is not full and then again if you are more than likely going to be healed to full more than you have your stamina low, 
then take the Cupristine Diamond as it's going to give you 15% damage and outgoing healing while at full health. So it's going to be very nice in that way, in those, really in those regards as well, because you're going to be able to go either option, but you just want to make sure you find out which one you are more likely to be at. Here we have the 300 strength, 210 dex, and a 5 constitution build. If you are running regular, you know, mutate, or not regular mutated, but regular dungeons, like if you're just running in these dungeons at 625 year score, this is something you definitely want to do. 300 strength, 210 dex, 5 con. However, because we're not taking death defy on the hatchet, we're going to be going great sword and great axe. I would suggest bumping that constitution up if you need it. Here we have enfeebling maelstrom. Targets hit by Maelstrom's No Reprieve are weakened, reducing their attack damage by 25% for 8 seconds. So we talked about that one earlier, being a part of your weapon. If you can't get it there, take it as an armor perk. These are armor perks that you're going to want to have as a uh, you know huge, huge DPS build. And also the utility on the uh, Great Axe is going to be massive with the Insatiable Grav Well as well. So we have the Great Axe gain 52% of your damage with Gravity Well back as health and cast another 4 Meteor Radius burst around you on successful hit that deals 100% weapon damage. We all know Insatiable grab well and how it works. So if you don't, then definitely take advantage of this one. Grab it yourself and see it for yourself because it's unbelievably good in PvE and PvP. Next, we have Leeching Crosscut. This is going to be a pretty obvious one for the Great Sword. You're going to want this on your gear. It's going to basically give you the final strike of Crosscut, healing you for 72% of the damage dealt. It's going to be a lot of your survivability. So definitely take advantage of this. Get this perk on a piece of gear and uh, start healing on that last shot of the crosscut. Next up, we have Crippling Reap. This is probably the least important out of all of the gear perks. That's why I put it at the end. Great Axe, if target hit with Reap is below 50% health, they are slowed, reducing movement speed by 50% for 4 seconds. It's not a huge bonus, but it is worth going for if you can find it in the store or the market for very, very cheap. And of course, on all of your gear, you're going to want the Corrupted Ward which is going to basically make you take less damage. And if you don't have the Corrupted Ward, you're going to want Angry Earth Ward or Ancient Ward, depending on what dungeon you're doing yet again. Like I said, if you're doing Genesis, Angry Earth. If you're doing Lazarus, it's Ancients. If you're doing Tempest Heart, it's going to be Corrupted, and so on and so forth. So you should be able to figure that part out. But this is going to be a complete guide on the most and highest DPS build currently in the game. It beats out Hatchet. However, the survivability is so, so low compared to Hatchet because you don't have the Defy Death and a couple other reasons, but realistically, this is going to be a build a lot of people are able to spam regular dungeons with and actually take them out insanely, insanely fast. So, Leeching Cross is going to be a big part of your survivability. We're going to have Thwarted Strikes going to be a big part with Bane as well, of course, being a big part of your damage. And then, you know, like I said, make sure to get that ward gear as well that's going to keep you alive in some of these higher mutated dungeons if you are struggling. Turn up your constitution. I know I said 5 con, but that's if you're not dying. If you are dying, like this guy did here just right now, turn that constitution up from 5 con to maybe something like 100 con. 100 con is obviously going to be a nice little milestone there if you are looking for a little bit of a bump. And depending on the dungeon as well, you may want to do that anyway. So I want to jump into some of the notes that that uh, we have taken down. Greysword is the best DPS in the game using the tree above. It's extremely difficult, but if you hit every hit, you will do insane DPS. The Great Axe makes the most sense with Greatsword. Clump mobs, then use crosscut and spam heavy's abilities to keep your stance active. So you heard it there. That's exactly how you need to play the Great Sword Great Axe combo. I don't have gameplay for you right here in the uh, in the video, but that's just because I couldn't get the gameplay in time. I couldn't download it and all. Um, but hopefully that's okay. Hopefully you understand the build. It makes a lot of sense, I think. But uh, you have to let me know down in the comments. And if you want to learn more about PVE in general, there's going to be a great PVE builds.xyz website down in the links below it'll give you a great in-depth guide on what you need to be looking for what kind of gear you need to run and it's going to give you info on ancients angry earth corrupted and lost dungeons so definitely take advantage of that if you guys haven't already make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on as well as follow me on twitch twitch.tv slash iGraphic i'm going to start streaming again and i hope you guys are there for it i'll see you guys all in the next one